guys, welcome to Ocean One Channel. I want to do a video for you today. Uh, but before I do the video, since I'm definitely speaking on the finance side, let's get the YouTube disclaimers out of the way. None of my content constitutes professional advice. Viewers that follow any content, suggestions, statements, anything from this channel, do so at their own risk because you are responsible for your own actions. All right, let's jump right into it. All right, for those of you that follow my channel, you're going to remember that I did a video titled why Fisker may actually survive. And if you've not watched that, uh, I, I would encourage you to watch that, but I'm, I'm not going to talk about that other than, than opening with it. Because we, we have some things in motion here that I think we need to step back, realize, and think about. Now, later on in the video, I'm, I'm leading up to where I'm going with this, okay? So you're just going to have to follow along. You're going to have to play along. So we've had some things happen very recently that, you know, would, would make one think, if Fisker is truly dead, why are these things going on? You know, because when you read online, most people are saying, you know, Fisker's dead, you know, it's dead, you're wasting your money, and they may be right. We may be wrong as investors. They may be 100% right. But uh, if Fisker's dead, why did new dealers just sign up? We had the dealer in Miami, uh, Florida, sign up. And then we had apparently another dealer or dealers sign up in Europe. Why did that happen if Fisker is dead? To me, that doesn't make much sense for dealers to be signing up if the writing is on the wall that this is over. Um, now, we know that from, you know, from several sources. I actually did a video over that. But we also know that because Fisker released a press release the day later, the day following after we all knew about it. Now, another thing that has me scratching my head, if you guys remember Fiscarati, if you ever followed Fiscarati at all, I was never a fan of Fisker using him for the meetups. Now, I got an email yesterday, and we have a meetup for Earth Day, and that's not going through Fiscarati anymore. That's actually going through the Fisker website. I always thought it was very childish for Fisker to go through the Fiskerati website, you know, which has been taken down now. Okay, it's been been changed. You know, he's he's, I don't know how you want to word that, but he's not dealing with Fisker anymore. And now we have the meet up on the twentieth. So we have dealers still signing up. We have Fisker still going through the meet up on the twentieth, and we have the note holder. Now the note holder is. More important than anything I've mentioned here, the note holder has given Fisker an extension until the 21st. So now we did pay a fee. We are in default with the note holder. So why are these things still taking place? Why are, the, why are dealers still signing up? Why are we still having a meetup, you know, all across the country? And then why did the note holder give us until the 21st? Well... Let's try to put some thoughts behind that. I say all of that to lead up to, you know, to me, it looks like Fisker is not dead. Now, we're pretty beat up. You know, we might be considered on life support, but we're not dead yet. Okay, we've not pulled the plug on Fisker yet. So, how do we proceed? Now, personally, I'm looking at these events and I'm thinking, you know, okay, I kind of like what I'm seeing. I've also noticed something I didn't mention in my one through three is that Fisker has been very active on social media. As a matter of fact, I contacted Fisker today on Instagram and I asked them if Tex would be at any of the meetups and they said they didn't know. Okay, but I got that message back in literally minutes, you know, not hours, not days, not weeks, minutes. So, you know, their social media is still very active. So what do we make of all this and how do we proceed? Now, personally, I'm looking at this as an opportunity. Now, please keep in mind what I'm saying here. I, ha I fully admit that Fisker may survive this. I fully admit that Fisker needs a miracle. I fully admit that Fisker needs to raise money. I fully admit that Fisker needs to restart production. But I'm hopeful and I'm actually praying that those things will start back. Now, I have some others on my wish list. I have several things on my wish list, you know, if if we want to go down that road. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to do that, but just be aware that these things have to happen. 
So why am I saying all this? Well, I transferred a little money earlier in the week, and I think it should be cleared tomorrow. Now, I did that on purpose because I wanted to be able to make another purchase before the 21st. Now, of course, I'm thinking that we open next week with news. Do we? No idea. We may not get any news, but the note holder gave us through the 21st. Now, the 21st happens over the weekend. That's Sunday. So, Monday, the note holder's extension has expired. So, what news do we get Monday? What was Fisker thinking when that date was given? What was the note holder thinking when that date was given? Why were Deutsche Bank and PJT, is that right, and Dubell brought in? Personally, I think all of those were brought in to raise money. And... You know, maybe we have, maybe we've not. I personally don't know, but I'm hoping that we have. And as I've mentioned in my other videos, I've started throwing a little money back into Fisker, and I'm hoping that this all works out. Now, if it doesn't, I'm going to lose it all, and life is going to go on. So I am willing to accept that. I am willing to take that risk. And I'm just curious what your guys' thoughts are. You know, are you going to be a buyer tomorrow? I will be a buyer tomorrow if my funds clear. Up or down, it's not going to matter to me because I'm thinking we'll probably get news next week. Now, in typical Fisker fashion, it may be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It may be the following week before we get news. But it is speculation, and I'm going to try to take advantage of that just in case Fisker does pull off a miracle. All right, guys, those are my thoughts, and I wanted to share those with you. And my number one concern is always to keep accurate information on this channel and for the product. And if you're enjoying my channel, just hit the like button and consider subscribing if you have it so you don't miss anything. And I appreciate you tuning in. And until next time.